Oh. Welcome back, everybody, to our special coverage. You're looking at the casket of Michael Jackson coming out of the Hall of Liberty at Forest Lawn. Uh, a fairly short uh, ceremony inside, a private ceremony, and now they are bringing the body out. We expect uh, the hearse will be pulling around shortly, and then you can see it right there, actually. And then there are expectations that they will bring the body of Michael Jackson to the Staples Center. i got to say, it's stunning to suddenly see the casket. It, it, it was a little bit of a surprise. I mean, it is one of those senses that, wow, he's really dead. Uh, around us has been pictures all day of uh, a young Michael Jackson uh, and then through his career, but to see these pictures of Forest Lawn Cemetery and the body of Michael Jackson being loaded into the back of the hearse um, really is a certain amount of finality. Brian to it. Monroe, uh, formerly with Ebony and Jet Magazine, uh, you, you had the last interview with Michael Jackson. Um, your, your thoughts on, on seeing this? Well, you know, watching to see who the, the pallbearers are. It looks like uh, several members, uh, several brothers are, are helping out. Uh, you know, it, it is, it's sad, uh, but it's also, this tribute is, is going to be phenomenal today. I understand inside the Sable Center is going to have a very solemn and serious tone and will be both a memorial and a funeral. It's not a lot of pomp and circumstance, uh, but we, we'll remember him in a uh, very somber way. Stuart Backerman uh, worked with him as a publicist uh, for uh, two th in back in 2002. Um, it's got to be surreal to see this. It is surreal, but to tell you the truth, I think he would have loved this. Uh, he was particularly distraught about the.